In this video I will show you how you can control your Windows PC using your smartphone. Before using this method make sure your PC and smartphone is connected to the same network. First of all, open up Microsoft Store and search for KDE Connect. You need to download and install this app in your desktop PC. After installing this in your Windows PC, you need to do the same in your smartphone. Open up Play Store or any app store that you use and search for KDE Connect. Download and install. Once done open both of the softwares in both of your devices. Click on the corresponding device shown on your smartphone. Click Request Pairing. Accept the pairing request on your desktop PC. Now you have options available in your smartphone to control your desktop PC. There are many features available in KDE Connect, but I won't be going through all of those features because that will increase the video's length. So I will point out only some of the best features available in KDE Connect. Starting with the first feature Send Files. This option allows you to send any files from your smartphone to your desktop PC. Once the file is sent you will be able to find that file in your downloads folder. The next feature is Send Clipboard. This feature allows you to send any text from your smartphone to your PC. All you have to do is copy the text in your smartphone, and then click on Send Clipboard option and after that you will be able to paste the text in your desktop PC. The next feature is Multimedia Control. This feature allows you to control the media your computer is playing, and you can control the volume of your computer also. The final feature is Remote Input. In this feature you will be able to control your computer's mouse using your smartphone. The control technique is explained here. Movement on your screen controls the mouse position. Single click to control the left mouse button. Double click on your screen will control the right mouse button. Triple click will control the middle mouse button. You can scroll using two fingers on your screen. And finally you can hold on your screen to use drag and drop feature. You can also type using the top right corner keyboard icon button. This video covers only this few features. Feel free to explore all the other features on this KDE Connect app. If this video helped you in any way, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to EasyBot for more tech tutorials.